How's it going? It's Dan from Wazer. I'm proud of the product development team here, and you might recognize my voice from such hit promotional videos as Wazer cuts through Bitcoin. Wazer cuts a knife out of a knife. Wazer cuts China out of China. But today, I'm going to be showing you how Wazer works. I'll be taking you through step by step so you can see just how easy it is. Let's get started. Before you operate Wazer, you must make sure it's connected to a water source. There's many ways to hook up Wazer to water, we're just going to make sure that the water's on. The other end of the hose is plugged into the back of the pump unit. Also coming out of the pump unit is the high pressure line that goes to the desktop unit. Wazer runs on a 110 volt 15 amp breaker, so it can plug into any household outlet. So you can create your 2D files in whatever program you're already comfortable with. Once you're done, you're going to send that 2D drawing file over to our software. There you will place the part on our virtual bed and answer a couple simple questions about material type and thickness. Once complete, simply plug in your computer to the USB from the machine and send over your cut data. Next, before we start running, we're going to want to make sure that Wazer's abrasive hopper is topped off with abrasive. To do that, you'll just open the drawer from the side, pour abrasive through the grate, and then close it back up. Every couple hours of machine runtime, you're going to want to make sure that the abrasive hopper is refilled. We're now ready to load material into Wazer. Today, we're going to be cutting a sprocket out of 3 16 inch aluminum. We're going to open the hood, place the material on the bed. We're going to hold it down with fastener so that it doesn't move while cutting. Next, we'll make sure that the nozzle is properly set to the right height using this handy tool. We'll loosen the thumb screw, pull down the cutting head, tighten that back up, and you're good to go. We're now ready to start cutting. Of course, before we start cutting, we've got to close the lid. As an added safety feature, Wazer won't let you cut with the lid open. Once closed, we can hit the start button. As Wazer is running, any excess water gets actively pumped out through this drain hose. Once the part is finished being cut out, we can pull it out of the machine. This particular part took about an hour and a half to cut out on Wazer. Now for the fun job of cleaning up. At the front of the machine, there's an access panel that you remove to reveal four buckets where the spent abrasive is collected. The abrasive is just crushed rock and can be disposed of in a variety of ways. Well, thank you for watching this video on how Wazer works. I hope it was informative. If you've got any further questions, please feel free to reach out. See you next time.